my wife, because I'm a comedian, and this is a clean show, we're not supposed to swear, but in real life, I swear all the time, and I make a lot of this gesture for no reason. I'm not, not a classy dude, you know? So she's like, listen, this is my church and my pastor, and we're gonna go there for one hour. If you can keep your crazy tucked in for one hour, I will buy you Pinkberry. <laughs> the fancy yogurt that's like $8, right? I love it so much because it's, it's Pinkberry. It's a fancy yogurt. It's like, because it's like $6, but I get like three fruits and I make it give them that yogurt boner where it's poking up out of the cup and they put the, no! I'll lick it in the store and look you in the eye. It's delicious. It's like kissing a baby angel on the lips. So here's the thing. So when she gives me the speech, like if you're good for an hour, you tuck in your crazy, you get Pinkberry, okay? That means no S-bombs, no F-bombs, no talking about how like Lego Star Wars is the best game ever for the PS3, or how you want to grow up and hunt Bigfoot on a dune buggy. None of that. None of that. Because if Bigfoot was real, I wouldn't be on this stage. I'd have a crossbow and a hang glider and the Appalachians looking for him. That is true. So we're at the church thing and it goes awesome because the pastor is like super pastor. This guy, like he surfs. Right? Like Jesus walking on water. This guy's walking on water with a mean cutback. He's like the dopest dude ever, right? He plays video games. He knew what Halo 3 was. He plays it online. I can rock multiplayer with a guy. I got Jesus on my side if I'm playing with him, basically. <laughs> He's wearing a pink Argyle sweater, matching pink Argyle socks. No weird vibe whatsoever. Just a man who loves Jesus and surfing and coordinating sweaters with socks. Oh my God. At the end, I was like, just adopt me. I love you so much. Here's the problem, the thing went great, I crushed it, I didn't swear at all, but there's a little clock, and like two minutes left, he's like, listen guys, we've had a lot of fun today, but I wouldn't feel like I was doing my duty if I didn't take it down for a minute and just get serious, okay? We're gonna, so for one minute, we're gonna get serious. So guys, I want you to take each other's hands, hold each other's hands, and I want you to look each other in the eye, and think about that one day, most likely, one of you will have to close the coffin on the other person. <laughs> Right? I'm dropping F-bombs like Hiroshima in my head, but I want to win and I want the Pinkberry. So I take a deep breath and I'm like, you know what, Pastor John, you are absolutely 100% correct. If I were to ever lose her, if she were to ever die, that would be the saddest day of my life. But that's not the worst thing that could ever happen if we got married. What about freak jet ski accident on the honeymoon doesn't kill her does render her completely 100% C4 murder ball quadriplegic. That's not one sad day of closing the coffin, that's 30 or 40 years of pushing her around the Galleria. Like, Why do you need new shoes? The ones you have on are so clean. They're so clean, give me back my life. My name's Dan Bollock, thank you guys very much for the rest of the show.